Here You're in welcome. the St. John Newsroom, CTV's Mike Cameron. Well, the new ferry being added to the Halifax Harbor fleet will be named for a young soldier killed in Afghanistan. The decision to name this ferry for Master Corporal Christopher Stanix was made democratically in a vote that was open to all residents, and the result was announced today. Here is CTV's Rick Grant with more. Halifax Harbor ferries are named after their terminal location, Halifax, Dartmouth, or Woodside. But the newest ferry now under construction in Matagan River will be an exception. Christopher Stanix has been chosen by residents for the name of the new ferry. They were all worthy choices, but I totally agree with that one. I think it's fantastic. It's great. Corporal Christopher Stanix was killed in Afghanistan in April 2007 by a roadside bomb. He put university on hold and took a demotion to go to Afghanistan. We wanted to help people over there. We wanted to kind of make their lives better and, you know, especially for the women to have the freedoms that we have over here and the children to be able to go to school. When I heard when he died, I was, I was devastated because this is the first un uh, combat death our units had in many, many years. Daryl McDonald, who was injured in a military training accident 15 years ago, met Stanick shortly after he joined the Princess Louise Fusiliers and nominated Chris Stanick's name for the ferry. It's an honorable day for everybody who served in the military. Master Warrant Officer Lawrence Conrad also knew Corporal Stanix. Great guy. Lots of ambition, initiative, drive, and determination, and uh, just a good overall all around a person. And there seems to have been an overwhelming desire to remember the fallen soldier. Over 61 percent of the 12,800 people who voted, voted in favor of naming the new ferry the Christopher Stanix. I think that the, their loss spoke to this generation and as a result of that I think they wanted to do something to uh, okay. memorialize uh, this generation, somebody from this generation, and I think they, I think Chris spoke to them in that fashion. The next step in naming the ferry is to get approval from Transport Canada. The five million dollar ferry is under construction in Metagan River and will be in service in May. Rick Grant, CTV News, Halifax. Thank you, Rick. Still